If you travel and stay in hotels, you know that eating out can blow your budget and blow your diet. Carolyn Scott Hamilton is creator of the Healthy Voyager website, and she is here to show us how to eat MacGyver style in your own hotel room. Good to have you here. Thanks for having me. So let's talk about this. We, we often just go out to eat or go down to the lobby and find something down there, but it doesn't have to be that way. No, not at all. You can use what you have available to you. You can plan ahead and bring a few things with you. Um, and then it's all starting with with what you travel with. So okay. whether you're flying, road tripping, whatever it is, plan ahead and bring a few things with you. What I should always we bring, bring with us? Yeah, I always bring some kind of protein bar or some kale chips, something healthy, so that when you're in that pinch and you're starving, you're not gonna eat that bag of chips or get that cookie. Mm. You know, it's always that impulse buy, which again, it's good for your waistline, it's also good for your budget to not have to run out. I like the, is that a water bottle that folds up? Exactly, That's so cool. it saves space in your carry-on, mm -hmm. in your purse, whatever it may be, and you got to be hydrated when you're traveling. Very That's very good. important. Drinking your veggies is important, so some kind of green powder that has about two to six servings of vegetables, so many different brands that do that. Drink that, you've got your vitamins, your nutrients for the day. I bring my own utensils, which kind of doubles as something I can use when I'm traveling, as well as things that I can use to prepare things in the hotel room. And even though you pack a lot, it's pretty compact. It's pretty compact. Like I like to bring these little guys to put spices in if I'm gonna cook in my room. Mm -hmm. You can always use contact lens cases, steal some salt and pepper from you know whatever restaurant you're at, uh, cinnamon so you can put it in your coffee. I like that idea for this, the... Uh contact lens holders because we've got a ton of those around the house. Yeah, and you know, you little sea salt them. in there. Exactly. Yeah. Take some containers. So if you do prepare anything in your room, you have snacks to take with you when you're sightseeing, hiking, whatever it is. Now and you're blending then, too. Yes. If you are hardcore, mm -hmm. like I can be sometimes, uh -huh. you can bring your own blender with you. So when you get to wherever your destination is, you go to the market, you pick up some fruit and vegetables, you can make some smoothies, some juices. That way you're eating healthy before you're out for the day. And sometimes just for your own um, regularity, it's good to just stick with things you know. Absolutely. <laughs> and that way it makes it... can it, be a problem for people who travel. Exactly. And that way it's that much easier when you get back to your routine that you didn't just gorge and indulge, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Um, if you can, bring a little flexible cutting board, bring a knife. Of course, if you're not, if you're checking bags, then you don't, don't want to bring, bring a knife. knife. Exactly. Or you can just grab one so you can just prepare Unless a few things. Unless it's a pocket knife, because now we can bring those. Exactly. You can be crafty like that. Uh -huh. I always bring some food grade hydrogen peroxide so that if I don't happen to bring all my goodies, you can use what's available to you in your hotel room. So your coffee pot is your best friend. You can steam veggies in your coffee pot. Now, hold on. Mm -hmm. Really? You sure can. What do I do? I just put the water. Put the water back in, here. and the steam is going to steam your veggies. What? Yeah, okay. crazy town. You <laughs> crazy can use... town. Is... <laughs> but it works. You can use the pot itself to heat up soups, oatmeals, beans, chilies, leftovers, and then you can use the hot plate itself to heat uh, leftover burgers. You can do dehydrated TVP meats and make little burgers. What am I going to use the iron for? Paninis, bruschettas, toast. You can take the dinner rolls from last night's dinner, uh -huh. and you can make sandwiches with your leftover. Burgers burgers, your TVP, you can heat up the bread on the on the uh, I iron. I could just see me setting up in the bathroom, you know, put down something. You wouldn't do it on this, obviously. Exactly. Do that and have yourself a panini. And then exactly. what am I using the ice bucket you for? You can use the ice bucket to toss salads, to <laughs> crush anything, to mix things, cereal, whatever it might be. You can be really creative with what's available to you. Save money and you keep Save your waistline. Save your waistline. Heavy. Exactly. You really are the female MacGyver. <laughs> Carolyn, thank you very much. Sure, thank you. We'll be right back.